Hi there, thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight's gonna to be another project with a design from Creative Fabrica. So if you didn't catch my last video, um, check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, I just started an exciting new partnership with Creative Fabrica and they've always done cut files in the past and they decided to start doing embroidery files and they asked me if I would help you guys learn about them. So there will be affiliate links in the um, in the description as well as a coupon code for their subscription service that goes for cut files and embroidery files. So check all that stuff out. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is we're going to make a cute little pouch for our embroidery scissors. So obviously they're not as beautiful as those, but we're going to make a cute little pouch for them anyways. And we're going to do it with all with this design and the designs that should be already on your machine. I have a brother SE425. So if you have something comparable to that or probably any, I don't know embroidery machines that well, but any embroidery machine should have simple designs on them like this. So I'm going to try to zoom out and move over. So if this kind of stuff bothers you, just skip ahead. I'm trying really hard to get better at making it where it doesn't... I mean, nobody's complained at all, but I just feel like it would be nicer if it didn't jerk around and all that stuff. Yeah, you guys are a great group. Not very many complaints. Okay, so for the pouch, what we're going to do is... So this design, this is the, it's kind of a rectangle. There's two rectangle designs and this one's like a fat rectangle design that you can do. And what we're going to do to do the pouch is we're going to just let it run up one side down the top and down that bottom. And then we're going to put the um, uh, design in it. We're going to put the, the beautiful bird, golden bird scissors inside of it and then we're going to attach the backing and we're going to run that one more time and the reason why we're going to stop it here is so that it can be a pouch obviously actually let's run it all the way around on the first one and then when we go to attach it at the pouch let's just run that bottom or that back one around the edges in the back that way it's sewing in the stabilizer let's go ahead and do that glad i thought about that <laughs> Glad I talked to you about that. All right, so with this project, we don't need to float. I mean, we don't need to do pins or anything like that. We're gonna float it, which means we're just gonna put the felt on there. And this isn't gonna work if you're using a really light fabric, but with a denser design, you wanna use a thicker fabric. I have, um, mm, and I can't reach it, I have cutaway stabilizer on here already. And I'm pretty sure it's from Pellon on the roll from Joann's. So it's generally very, very inexpensive at Joann's and they give you tons of coupons. So try that out. So we're gonna go ahead and run the very first part of this. We're gonna run that fat, fat rectangle. See number five? And then if you go to number 10, oops, number 10 is a long rec rectangle. So they're both helpful. Okay, and then we're going to choose 10. At the at this part, actually, you can do any decorative stitch that you want. For the tutorial, we're just going to choose number 10 and go with that. But if you wanted to do, you know, one of the prettier designs, that I think you definitely should. Okay, so we're going to go to layout, and we want to turn it. And then we're going to go back out of here and we're going to go into size. We're going to max out the size and then let's go there. And even though it says it's on its side, it's still going to do the right thing. So I like to go to layout and see where it starts. It's going to start down there. Put our presser foot down. Zoom y'all in. I'm not from the south. I don't know why I chose to say y'all. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so that part is done. Let's go back up here. And then we're going to go out to the home screen. Click OK. And then we're going to choose this is where my design is waiting for me to upload it. Okay. And this has four different color changes because it's really cute. It has like four different layers of um, different pretty colors and there's like dots on it and but we're going to do this all in one color because on a 4x4 machine they are generally just a single needle and it it's really kind of um, a pain in the butt to turn to move them in and out. Once it gets going I might change my mind and use this really pretty yellow Embrodex um, but that's no guarantee. <laughs> I might just keep it all gold. So let's trim these pieces on here. And I have enough room to go ahead and have this stitch out and have you guys watch and I'll put it in high speed. Okay. I'm not really good at the new version of, um, uh, movie maker on my computer yet. So there won't be any music and I'm sorry, but I'm getting better. That thing is such a betrayal because I tried it out before I even started and it acted like it was fine and it's still going choo -choo -choo when I move it. <laughs> okay. So here we go, guys. I'm so Oh, wait. I forgot. I keep forgetting a very vital point. So whenever you're working with something that has pile and really pretty much anything I use this stuff over the top of, it helps um, everything glide around. It is water soluble stabilizer WSS you might have heard um, but this is a film that you can peel off as well as dissolve so um, I like to use it on almost anything I like to use it especially with um, you know stuff that it might get caught on or just it might get uh, what's the word um, uh, kind of falling into into the pile like you'll lose your color because it's not sitting up high enough okay All right, friends, I went ahead and finished sewing it out. I had a few troubles with the metallic thread. Um, the first part of it sewed out really beautiful and I'm using this brand. And I generally don't have trouble with um, metallic thread, but I'm not even kidding you. I made, I started saying something about that in the video and I never had easy time the rest of the video. So I just deleted all of that and um, we're here at the end. I had to switch to yellow um, Embroidex, which was fine. It didn't, didn't let me show all of the pretty detail of this design but um, you'll be able to see and and if you do the different colors like you're supposed to you'll definitely be able to notice the difference but it's still it came out really really beautiful I think it looks pretty cute okay so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna 
just have this if this is on the back you can trim all of this if you want to I don't really care so I'm just gonna put this on the back here <clears throat> oh, excuse me this is called float I don't know why I said it like that this is called floating again and you just kind of want to keep it underneath it and you can see if it's shifted you know you can kind of lift it and move it around a little I don't know how much of that you can see yep so just make sure that it's underneath um you know pretty much exactly the same as it already is so what we're going to do is we're going to back out of this sorry about that we're going to go back to the screen click ok and go back to the shapes go back to our fat rectangle stitch number 10 adjust layout we're going to rotate it 90 and we're going to max out the size okay and it's going to tell us that it starts down here but it actually starts down there oh i forgot i pushed the wrong one I meant to push this this button <laughs> This button should tell you where it begins. And the cool thing is whenever you float the felt, it just kind of does whatever your machine does. It sticks with it and you don't have to add any tape or anything like that. Okay, so it says that it's gonna start it over here, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out of here and up here to this part, and I wanna start it right here. I'm gonna push this down and I'm gonna hand crank it because this is we're modifying a design that's on here I want to hand crank it and then I want to go back oh what I don't want to raise the needle I want to go back press the needle position button oh because I do because <laughs> I was doing the thing okay so we want to go back to the beginning don't want to get that tied up okay so even though we already went forward a couple pieces this is annoying even though we went forward a couple pieces we want to um, kind of do a little bit of a back stitch okay so from here we're going to we got it down here oh you guys can't see that Okay, so we did a little bit of a back stitch, and this is going to make it where we can start it on this edge, and it kind of has a little, um, it's locked in. Okay, and then we're just going to let it go, and we're going to stop it somewhere over here so that we can do the same thing over on this edge, and it won't finish the um, sewing. Okay, so you've got to be quick on your fingers, but it's not hard. My thread came out. Why? And all my talking while I was talking, I was trimming and I think maybe I accidentally um, accidentally trimmed the wrong thread. Okay, so starting over. I love the ability to be able to go back and start at any stitch we want. Okay, so let's just, since it's already got the stitch locked in, we can just go ahead and press start. I'm gonna hold on to this for a second. We're going to stop it and we're going to move it. Oh, wait, close. We're not going to move it. <laughs> we're going to hand crank it up to the top. About the same spot on the other side. And then we're going to, can we backwards crank it? No, it doesn't let us backwards crank it. Would be cool if we could. Okay. 
So that's a little bit higher than the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, I'm going to go ahead and push back. I did. <laughs> and then I'm going to let it go just, or not let it go. I'm going to go ahead and crank it again. Let it get that good stitch locked in there at the very end. And then cut your thread and let's pull it out of here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys out so you have more light. Okay, so here is our cute scissor pouch. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, good job, Creative Fabrica. Okay, so we're going to pop this out of here. We're going to set our hoops aside. And I'm going to try my best to cut from the side. But as you can see, we have kind of a little stop here and a stop here. And we have ourselves a pouch. So you can add a ribbon to it. Um, do whatever you want if you need to add a lanyard to it. So here's the part where you're going to want to be particular or not. I'm not very particular about my cutting, especially on felt. But you can... Um, you can do a much better job than me. <laughs> but the whole point is to cut it crossed and around, making sure not to cut the design, and give enough room on the edges so that the, um, the thread has something to catch a hold to. If you cut it too close, the thread will probably unravel because it'll you know, doesn't have anything to hold. <laughs> Probably should have left that with a cute little point at the end, huh? Okay, so here we go. Oh, the film in the middle. Go ahead and rip that out. So that was Sulky Salvi. Oh, that didn't come out. Sulky Salvi um, water, sol water Soluble Stabilizer. Jeez. Okay, and I use gold and yellow threads. And it turned out so cute. And now instead of going, where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? Hmm. They'll just be right here in this cute little pouch. <laughs> I think it turned out really adorable. I might um, put some... Uh, some stabilizer on the back here because this is very catchy. It's not catchy so much here where the stabilizer is. It's very smooth, but back here where there's no stabilizer on the um, on the back part, on the felt, it catches it a little bit. But I don't think it's enough to worry about. If you have a bigger hoop, you're going to have a much cuter design. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys um, check out my description and go check out Creative Fabrica and See the designs that they have. Look at it, it's so cute. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.